after you've learned how to sew buttonholes with the Singer Fashion Mate 3342, it's time to use the included button sew on foot to sew the buttons onto the project. So this is the buttonhole foot where you put the button in the back and it knows how to make the perfect length every single time. We are going to take the presser foot off the blue little toes are the grippers for uh, holding the button in place. And we need a zigzag stitch for this particular concept. Now I do have the little cover. Traditionally, you lower the feed dogs down or you can cover them up. For a little bit of ease, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna just take the stitch length and turn it to zero. So those feed dogs will still touch the underneath part of my fabric, but they'll only be doing this instead of trying to move my button through, which is what I don't want at all. We will find a zigzag stitch, but of what size? I mean, how many different sizes do you think there are for all the buttons that are out there? Well, here's the trick. There's actually very few sizes. There's really one main one that 99% of the buttons uh, need. And the stitch width you need to set your machine for is four. So four millimeters wide for the zigzag width, zero stitch length or the cover in place and our zigzag option on our stitch selection knob. Next, you'll notice that your needle is either hanging out on the left side or the right side. And uh, right now, it's for me, it's on the left. So we're going to position the needle to come down in a left hole. So I haven't lowered the presser foot yet but I'm gonna drop my needle down into one of the button eyes and then lower the presser foot down. Now you did notice that I chose to do the two holes that were closest to me. And then that way most of the foot is on the button and that will help it just because it's the first one that we're doing. Now we're gonna test the swing of the needle. So if we take and hand turn, until the needle jumps over and into the right side. And if I've cleared and not hit anything, I can step on the foot control and I'm looking to stitch about eight, nine stitches or so. Bring the needle up, lift up the presser foot. If you do have four holes to do, um, just slide back. Now my needles, uh, I stopped it. So right now the needle's in the right side. So I'm gonna line that up with the one of the right eyes and then turn a full revolution and make sure you're clear and stitch a few more times. Now, if you really want that button never to come off the project ever again, take a little free check, some clear fabric glue, put it right on the whole group of threads and you'll never lose that button ever again.